Sanchez, originally from the Dominican Republic, lived in Spain for a few years working as a carpenter with his father. He would return to the DR and compete for the Dominican Republic national team before deciding to play basketball in the United States and pursue his degree. Sanchez missed the February 22nd game at Villanova in order to be with his wife to be present for the birth of their daughter. Primo's appeared in 29 contests for the Red Storm this year and is the second leading rebounder, averaging over five rips a game. In the two games since the birth of his daughter, he's on fire, shooting 9 of 13 from the field and scoring in double figures in both games. I really played basketball when I, when I went to Spain. I tried to play a little in the street, but I see that I can jump more than everybody. I can run more than everybody over there. Uh, I made everything easy. I started running more over there. The most physically gifted player we have on our team. There's really not a whole lot that he can't do, and I think sometimes that gets in his way because he can pass the ball great, so sometimes he won't take a shot that's open. Um, he can shoot, you know, he can shoot the ball, but sometimes, you know, he'll drive it because he can do so many things. I think the year of him not playing in an organized game is, is taking him a little bit of time to come back. That, you took, put that on top of the fact that he had a shoulder surgery. But once he gets it all together, it's starting to come together, you see a couple of games where he's just like, wow. I was playing for Dominican national team. Uh, I told by tell me, if I want to come to the United States to have a good education and play basketball. I say, okay, if you say. He, he says so. Um, like, he bring me to Monroe College. Uh, I played over there for two years. It was a good experience. I was an uh, All-American mansion. Uh, leader and rebound for my team and turn rebound the country. Like turn and rebound and block two in the country. What a good experience for me. Orlando, he's like a bigger dumb. He played the same thing like one, two, three, four, five. He could play everything, but he like he kind of got a little height on dumb. They like the same thing. First child, they could do everything. It's hard for a defense to like guard him because you don't know what he's doing next. He's a good guy, and off the car, he's a great friend. So he, I mean, he makes sure you're good. He always texts me, how you doing? Like, he's a good guy. He's, he's, a, he's a taller version of me. Um, not as fast, of course, but you know, he's, he's, he's a taller version of me. And um, he's a scorer, too. He, he's versatile because he can bring his a bigger guy out to the three-point line, take a smaller guy into the post, and he can, he can hit jump shots. You can shoot, you just all around good player. In Europe, it's more about the pass the ball. It's more about the found the open the open guy and shoot the ball. Uh, here it's more about individual. And when I start here playing, like different for me, I try to pass the ball to a lot of people that don't expect to me to pass the ball. Uh, was a little bit hard, but they understand that I don't I don't really care. If I may only two points, four, six points, I care about win. It's something that is good for me, it's good for the team. I coached junior college and went to junior college myself. I always think the hard thing for junior college players is, is understanding the value of the possession. Where in Division One, it's different than it is in junior college. In junior college, it's just more possessions because of the style of play. So it isn't necessarily fragmented so much when you make a bad turnover or you take a bad shot. In Division One, it, it is because the competition level is so high, and I think Orlando that that's found it was whether uh, you know every possession. I think he's he's getting wired into that. You can see where he was at from game one now to game ten. Now you're seeing much more we see in practice now in some of the games. I think part of that is just you have to have that uh, that that experience and get that rust off from that year of sitting out. Now it's starting to come to fruition. He's also one of my friends, uh, one of my close friends on the team. He's the funny guy, um, you know, he do it all for you. Stretch the floor, he can shoot the three ball. 
Uh, he can run the floor in transition. He can bring it up like a point guard at 6'9". He just do everything for you. He do everything on the court also. Orlando Sanchez committed to the Red Storm back in the spring of 2012, but didn't suit up until this season. Last year, when they tell me that I'm not eligible, it's like, okay, what, are, uh, what are I going to do? Get what I said. Um, was like, I start crying, talk to my family. It's like, oh, I don't have nothing now. With all that happened last year, he could ask for a lift, but he just hang in there and stay with us. And he kept his head. I mean, I'm happy for him playing down. And he's having a group. Like, we happy for him to be on the team. Just got to let him ball. After missing most of the 2013 season, waiting to be cleared by the NCAA, Sanchez was awarded one year of eligibility, which he elected to use this year. What I want to do, like, uh, play now, I only have, like, four or five games, or wait for the next year. So if one year, I can graduate. When I call my mom, my mom starts crying. Like, everybody, like, every, everybody close to me, like, was too happy for that. Uh, it's something that oof, I can't describe. I mean, Orlando is like, you know, he's my best friend here. He's like my brother. He knows, he knows my, uh, he knows my brother very well. Um, he knows my parents and everybody. So and he's like my brother to me. So it just feels great to having, the, you know, your brother on the court playing with you and having him around. And I, I can see how much, how far he came from like, since he got to you know, America and since now he's about to graduate from college. It's, I'm part of everything. I think that my family is everything for me. Like, I can't describe that.